Hey guys, um, I'm gonna be um, installing graphic card. Installing, uh, I have this uh, NVIDIA G4 GT620 and I'm gonna be installing it. It's a low profile card and I'm gonna be installing it in an HP computer. Um, I have this one I bought from my friend and he gave it to me because it didn't work, but I technically fixed it to. I uh, I don't know I I use I technically um reinstalled the RAM and the second part I did is um take out the motherboard battery and just put it back. I mean I don't know which one which one um was the solution, but I mean I tried both and it worked because the problem with the PC was that um it shows black screen on startup even before Windows start like it, when it. When I turn on the computer, the um, it doesn't work. So, well, I'll show you what the motherboard um, battery thing looks like later. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be installing the graphic card GT620 on an HP computer. Here is the here's the model number and stuff like that. And this is the thing. Is my friend bought it in 2010, I think, and it has. It has an AMD um, onboard video card. It's an integrated video card, and I'm gonna be disabling that later. But I'm, I might not show it in the um, video, but maybe later. Okay. Uh. So I'm gonna be opening the computer. So you see, there's a screw. There's a screw right here. Sometimes it usually is um, easy to find what screw it is. So basically, you just well some most like most newer computers the screws are bigger where you could just use your um, fingers to just open it, but this one you have to use a screwdriver. So I'm just gonna use this screwdriver and just turn it. Actually, um, uh, yeah, I'm turning it into the just opening it. Okay, um, and then just say open the key. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So, this is what the inside of the computer looks like. Um, this computer has a AMD, uh, AMD A10, a AMD Athlon 2 630, something like that. Um, this it has a 2.8 gigahertz, so it's not that bad. But you know, my main rig, um, which is still an HP computer, is right there. Um, I saw the GTX 970 there, and it works fine. And that one is an HP NV 1437C. Has it, before I used to have this card, I replaced it. Uh, I just put a GTX 970 in there. And this one is I bought it from my friend, so it's not like I'm already use it as gaming. So I'm just gonna put this card since technically it's better than the onboard video card, which is um, an AMD Radeon um, 4800, I think, something like that. So I mean, it's possible. I've seen it. I researched. I never done. Um, I never really installed a video card with the integrated video card, but this is my first time doing that for putting it in with the integrated video card. But you have to disable that once you install it. Okay. Uh. Remember when I was talking about the issue that I had, um, the black screen thing? Well, first I un I just took out the RAM and put it back again, which is right here. The RAM, this is 6 gigabyte in total. And I don't know why it didn't really work, but I mean, I uninstalled it and just put it back again the same way. And I didn't really check to start up after that, so I just, all I did was go here because I think it's the CMOS or something like the motherboard battery thing I think it is uh, so I just all I did was um, use, uh, all I did was pull this and just take it out with your fingers or like use a screwdriver to take it out like yank it out or something and then you just put it back the way it was and I don't know I guess it reset it that way I think it's something to do with um, the window startup with the CMOS something like that so so now to install the video card. It doesn't really work, um, require that much on um, watts, so, you know, okay, hold up. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna need to take off, okay, all right. 
this you just need to take off this thing okay let's see and just to let you know before doing all this you might want to touch in a metal part or if you have an electric band, uh, wristband like uh not electricity wristband something like that that's called um use that for more safety but i mean i don't use it i don't i'm not gonna waste my money on that when i actually done this before without a wristband and it works fine so but it's better for beginners um all right so you just take you just unscrew the metal on um, part the metal plate on the back and then you just take it off like that so there's a gap here now all you gotta do is take out one of the, well this one this card has one like one plate on the back it, it's not double plated like the newer like newer video cards that are for gaming this is a low profile i mean you could game with it i mean i played like Watch Dogs even and ran but it ran kind of okay it wasn't even that good because i had to put in low settings and everything and 1280 times 720 even though my monitor is 1920 times 1080 and with that I get around 15 to 15 FPS probably if you lower if you keep lowering it that is I mean if you could deal with it go ahead play with it or and right now I think the 950 um, came out which is for mo mainly mobile gaming but it should work fine with other games also to 2 gigabyte I recommend you guys buy that and the best one I would recommend buy right now is the 970 and I don't know if this will work on this computer because this one is BIOS is 6 and came with Windows 8, Windows 7 pre-installed and I installed Windows 10 like yesterday um okay anyways uh so now you know so you just take out the back plate you just take out one of these because don't you don't need to take out these it's unnecessary because don't need to but see over here all right i'm touching them out there right. see I just move the wires a little bit over here okay try to put it somewhere where it doesn't get in the way and then i don't know what this is uh what is that oh, i don't even know what that is whatever um so you just you just i mean it's obviously not gonna work this way because it's not supposed to be so you just install it. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. That that sound dangerous. Don't push it too hard, be careful of the things. Let's see. I'm still a noob at this, but I mean, I know how, to, how it works and everything. And this one doesn't really require connecting a power supply because it's a low power profile. But the bigger cars most likely will need a six pin or eight pin connector. Um, okay, let's see. Shit. 
even the 970 didn't have that much work to do. I think this was like this. Uh, to work all right i don't know i guess uh, i don't know why that happened but you just have to press it down a little bit all right not too much but you don't want to damage your motherboard components or anything really okay that's it i guess um now just have to make sure it's in place that's it pretty much and uh well you don't need this anymore but you, should, you might want to put it somewhere and just advice to people I have computers even if you don't know about computers if something if um if your computer doesn't work or anything try to fix it yourself to save money that way and let's say some let's say the whole computer really stops working like one of the components and you really can't run it just replace it or if something you really can't run it just don't ever throw your pc make sure you could reuse the parts like the hard drive and you could even probably use the case for all i know you can just build your own PC. Never throw away your computer, really, or unless you want to sell it. But well, if you can't sell it, you know you could reuse some stuff for the components. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just have to use the screws. All right. Uh, uh, Sorry if the video was kind of bad. I mean, I'm using my iPhone 6 to record. My brother's recording it. So that might get messed up. But at least you get the idea of it. Alright. Okay, and. As you know, this is how it's seated. See right here. And sometimes, um, sometimes there's a thing over here, this latch thing right here. Can I put the light? Okay, this is some latch thing. Usually, I don't know, I mean, there are different shapes, but this one, I think, is an older computer, that's why it's like that. And so, yeah, you just, this is how you install a card, video card. And I think this has room to actually put a bigger card, but I don't know if it's gonna be if the bias is gonna support it because some users might have problem with it. So yeah, um, I mean for the my computer, the other one, I bought it in 2012 and it had a it had Windows 10, I mean Windows 8 with this, so it had a BIOS version 8, and I guess all you had to do was disable um, secure boot and enable legacy mode or something. And then you could just install the graphic card basically. And the 970 works fine, it's really good. And yeah, I have a one terabyte hard drive here, and I'm just gonna leave it with that because I installed Windows 10 on it. And one terabyte is fine because I'm it's not for gaming really. The game is just probably my brother who's gonna do it and for other uses. And yeah, and I don't know what, what the power supply is. I mean, I have an extra power supply from my old computer because I swapped the 460 watt power supply with the 600. So I put the 600 watt power supply in there. And yeah. Um. So now I'm just gonna close it. So now I'm just gonna close it. Close it. Okay. Uh, this is screwed. 
And you just screw it right there. See that screw? You just screw it back. And then, so this type of screw, you might want to use a thing to tighten it a little bit. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Pretty much. Well, alright. Alright, thank you guys for watching and. Please subscribe because I'm posting YouTube and Facebook and I might make other tutorial videos but that's it for now. So goodbye. Mm.